The Columbia-class submarine is the United States Navy's next generation of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, designed to replace the aging Ohio-class. As the sea-based leg of the U.S. nuclear triad, this program is the Navy's top acquisition priority, ensuring a continuous and survivable strategic deterrent. A total of 12 Columbia-class submarines are planned, with the lead vessel, the USS District of Columbia, or SSBN-826, currently under construction. These submarines are the largest ever built by the U.S. and are expected to carry approximately 70% of the nation's operational nuclear arsenal. The Navy is betting big on the new Columbia-class submarines, to the tune of a whopping $132 billion, but it seems even the most expensive projects can hit a snag. What exactly problem? Recent reports have surfaced about a serious problem with the very first boat in the class, the USS District of Columbia, and it's a big one, faulty welds. So, what's the big deal about some bad welding? Inspectors found that some of the welds on the submarine's missile tubes weren't up to snuff. While it might seem small, that tiny imperfection could become a catastrophic failure point under pressure. This isn't just a minor hiccup. It calls into question the quality control of a critical component of the submarine's structure. The contractor, General Dynamics Electric Boat, had to go back and reinspect thousands of welds, causing significant delays. For the Navy, this is more than just an embarrassment. The Columbia class is on a tight schedule to replace the aging Ohio class submarines, which are nearing the end of their service life. Any delay in the Columbia program creates a potential gap in our nation's nuclear deterrent capabilities. Furthermore, these repairs and delays inevitably drive up the cost of a program that is already one of the most expensive in Department of Defense history. The Navy and its contractors are now under immense pressure to fix the issues on the USS District of Columbia and ensure the same mistakes aren't repeated on the subsequent submarines. This multi-billion dollar program is too big to fail, but these early construction woes are a stark reminder that even the most advanced technology is only as strong as its weakest link, or in this case, its weakest weld.